This is your CBS News Baltimore Afternoon Update for Wednesday, January 31st. I'm Denise Koch. This morning, former Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby took the stand in her own defense in her federal mortgage fraud trial. She did not testify in a related perjury trial last, uh, last year, which ended in her conviction. Mosby's attorneys have asked the judge to dismiss the charges in this case since they say the alleged crimes did not take place in Maryland. Mosby's ex-husband, Nick, president of Baltimore City Council, testified that he kept the couple's financial struggles secret and that he blamed himself for the omissions that led to the charges. CBS News Baltimore investigator Mike Helgren will bring you updates throughout the afternoon as well as a full report starting today at 5. And we now know a man who was shot yesterday in North Baltimore has died at the hospital. Baltimore City Police say officers were sent to the 4,000 block of Willsby Avenue around 4.30 in the afternoon where they found a 36-year-old man. He'd been shot multiple times. Now, they have not released that man's name as of yet, nor any details about a possible shooter. If you know anything, you're asked to call police. And the Orioles are gaining a pair of billionaires as the new team owners. Our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, confirms the Angelos family is agreeing to sell the team. This deal involves some familiar faces. One of the billionaires, Baltimore native David Rubenstein. Orioles legend Cal Ripken Jr. is also a part of the investment group. Now MLB owners will need to approve the deal before it can go through. It's led again by billionaires David Rubenstein and Mike Arogetti. The agreed price, $1.725 billion. This agreement comes after a new long-term lease agreement was approved last month to keep the Orioles at Camden Yards. MLB owners will meet in Orlando next week and possibly finalize this deal. And that's your afternoon update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Denise Koch.